Alan E. Sims Recreation Center, a premier center for fitness, fun, and friendships. Cedar Hill, Texas. Uh, Alan Sims and I are friends. Uh, he and his wife, Gail, are truly fixtures in our community. Uh, he served as city manager for more than 20 years, and he is currently a mayor pro tem, and his wife is president of the school board. Uh, they also serve on our Transformation Vision Board, a faith-based, Christ-centered group, and we say we seek to steward the blessings and opportunities of God over Cedar Hill. May the good Lord be praised. Well, the Apostle Paul wrote to Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4, and said, Don't be given to old wives' fables and tales, but train for the purpose of godliness. Uh, for bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, holding value for not only this life, but also for the life to come. Uh, kind of back at it, uh, you know, I hit the floor, God willing, every morning with some core, core work and push-ups. Ellen cracked me up the other day. <laughs> she said, you know what the best thing is about you getting down on the floor? I said, no, ma'am. She said, you got to get back up. Uh, and I go for, I walk for exercise. God answered my prayer after I tore my Achilles. My prayer was that I could walk for exercise, climb a flight of stairs and play golf. And so far I'm doing it. And I'm very, very grateful. Uh, but about one day a week, I try to come early and to the Alan E. Sims Recreation Center and uh, lift some weights, try to strengthen some muscles. Uh, but I'm on the way, God willing, going to go to the church house. Now that I've trained physically, I'm going to seek and attempt to train spiritually. Uh, open the Bible, listen to God, not to try to just hear from him, but hear him. I'm going to journal some notes. And Lord willing, write a prayer and try to live that prayer all day long. So anyway, uh, today's a fun day. I'm grateful. Uh, train physically, which is of some profit, but even more so train spiritually, which holds value not only for this life, but also for the life to come. Wow, what a thought. Thanks for tuning in to the Vespers, and may the good Lord be praised.